today we have something pretty interesting to unbox. I got cameraman helping me today. We have the ProArt Series LCD Monitor PA246 from ASUS. Now, what makes this unique with, quite frankly, any number of monitors on the market that are 24 inches, okay? They have a black bezel, you know, height adjustment potentially, uh, you know, built-in USB hub, built-in card reader. Uh, it does support picture-in-picture, -picture, which is kind of neat. But what separates this from every other monitor on the market with a black bezel and a 24-inch diagonal screen? Well, we're going to get into that a little bit. Because, yeah, I, what I realized about monitor unboxings is that they take a really long time because monitors are big and I'm, like, weak and from the internet. So... And yes, I stole that from Crazy Russian. He says it all the time, that he's from the internet. And I'm like, okay. Um, so yeah, what I realized is that LCD unboxings take a long time because they're big and bulky and kind of ungainly to deal with. And I always tell you guys everything about the monitor before I actually open the box. So I'm not going to make that mistake today. I'm going to unbox the product. And then, when I can show you the product itself, I'm going to tell you all about it. So here we have the accessories under the bottom layer of styrofoam. We get lots of different accessories. This is terrific. We get a cable tie. Oh, two cable ties. No, it's one. Never mind. It's just one. I was, I was getting pretty excited there for a second. Next we get a support CD. And a VIP member notice. It's a notice. Okay. All right. I'm noticed. I noticed it. Quick start guide, excellent. Plug the thing into the thing, hit the power button, probably something along those lines. Ooh, check this out. Okay, so I didn't I didn't get to save this for when the uh, the monitor actually was was unboxed, but check this out. So this is a color calibration testing report. This report was run on your serial number. This is not batch color calibration. That is why this monitor is expensive. This is an out of the box calibrated LCD monitor. That is why it is called a ProArt. So I'm going to finish showing you guys that, oh, yeah, yeah, there's that. Don't put this bag over your own face or your baby's face or your face is done. Okay. So we'll get into more of the other features that are professional oriented later. Ah, thank you, cameraman. Here are the cables that are included. We have one DisplayPort cable, so I'm going to go ahead and jump out on a limb here and assume the monitor supports DisplayPort. We've got VGA cable. Don't use that. Crying out loud, please don't buy a $500 monitor and then use that. And we have a DVI cable. We also have a power cable, pretty standard, as well as a USB A to B cable or a printer USB cable for the built-in hub. So I'm going to go ahead and hold on to these accessories and let's get this monitor opened up. There is, by all appearances, no real assembly required to speak of. I'm going to go ahead and take off the plastic here. Uh, we've got our height adjustable stand, it's pretty sweet. Ooh, I like the, uh, I already like the, the base on the uh, mounting arm. Feels very, very, very smooth when you're adjusting things compared to uh, some of the less expensive ones that I've seen. Okay, so why don't we go through all the range of motion that we can do with the ASUS uh, PA246. So we can go up and down. So here's the very bottom. You can see that the monitor is actually almost resting right on the base. We can go up this high, all right? Tilt. We can go way up here. We can go way down there. Okay, I mean, very few people sit and look up at their monitor, so that's, you know, doesn't need to go too far down. It's better if you look at this from this side, I think. Okay, uh, pivot. Look at that. It can pivot all the way to that side and all the way to that side. So that's like, uh, that, that, that's pretty good, seems to me. Okay, uh, you can also do this. Actually, I believe this is called, uh, uh, yeah, no, this is swivel. That's right. So it can swivel. It can go into portrait mode. Can't quite go upside down. Okay, go ahead and do that. Uh, let's have a look at the physical characteristics of it. It's quite thick. This is not a thin monitor. It's not like a, a dainty monitor. This is meant for professional use, so it's going to be built up as much hardware as they deem necessary to put inside it. They're just going to do it. They're not going to try and make it thinner. So it's going to have lots of uh, ventilation holes all along the top here. Actually, only about half of these are ventilation holes. Same thing here on the back. Um, right here. This is kind of funny to me, but almost everything on this monitor has um, centimeter and centimeter and a half markings on it. Oh no, it looks like it's inches on the uh, 
on the, oh no, okay, there's inches and centimeters there, that's kind of neat. But, uh, so yeah, you can see that's marked, you can see down here is also marked, and then there's an indicator at the front, so it actually shows you, okay, you're, you're that far off now, and then there's a little dot to indicate, okay, you're at the maximum, so there's halfway, and then max, and then same thing here at the back for the height adjust, everything is marked. That's kind of neat. Okay, let's go ahead and have a look at our inputs. So I'm gonna go ahead and tilt it back. Check out the bottom here. Uh, I'm not sure if we're gonna have enough light from that angle. I'm gonna actually tilt it this way and then you can have a look from that side. Okay, so we've got our USB in, it appears to be audio. We have VGA, DVI. Oh yeah, okay, there's the seven in one card reader as well as the two USB ports on the side. Okay, we've got HDMI in, display port in, so we have pretty much every option we could possibly need as far as inputs go. We've got our power, as well as a power switch. There's a warranty void, a seal damaged thing on the bottom here, so that's, uh, make sure you don't do that. Alright, um, let's go around to the, I don't know what he's on about, sound. Oh, I already said that. Yeah, yeah, it has speakers, right? Maybe it doesn't. Okay, hold on, we'll be back. Yeah, okay, so those are just for the HDMI and DisplayPort inputs so that you can actually plug headphones into the headphone jack on the bottom of the monitor and you can hear sound that way. So Cameraman is now showing you some of the features that I promised to talk about once we got the monitor out of the box and that is that this uses an IPS panel. So IPS is out of the three main LCD uh, panel technologies, that is TN, VA, which would be PVA, MVA, or IPS. This is the highest end one in terms of color accuracy as well as uh, professional use. So that's why it is the Pro Art. Something else that I wanted to point out to you guys this is a 1920 by 1200 monitor. It uses a proper PC 16 by 10 aspect ratio instead of the more theater and movie oriented 16 to 9. That gives you that extra little bit of vertical that gives you more space to work when you are using a PC desktop as opposed to watching a movie. I mean, for gaming, 1080p is great, but for professional work, I really do prefer to have that extra little bit of vertical. Okay, we've also got, they advertise here, okay, it uses Adobe RGB. We've got the color accuracy is down to a delta E of less than five, which I'm to understand is quite impressive. Uh, that basically means that the color is very accurate. Six axis color adjustment, supports picture in picture. The ergonomic stand we've definitely looked at already, as well as the USB hub and 7-in-1 card reader. Now here's something that I thought was pretty darn cool. So you can see all up the right side of the monitor, there are little marks, as well as all along the top. Those are in, all in inches. So you've got inch, half inch, and quarter inch marks. And then all along the left side and all along the bottom of the mark, uh, uh, of the bottom of the monitor is a uh, metric. So that's in uh, centimeters and half centimeter increments. So I, I thought that was hilarious. Uh, I don't know why, but I thought it was. Uh, on screen menu, we don't normally show this on tech tips, but since we have the monitor plugged in anyway, we might as well. So you've got a few different modes here. Got some color settings, got some image settings, got some picture in picture settings. You can select your input, which is much easier to do with the input button, as well as system setup. Uh, there is a quick fit button, which it requests that I try, so why don't we try it? Whoa, look at that! Sweet! That's actually really cool. So it puts an overlay right over top of the screen in centimeters or in inches. And I'm gonna go ahead and assume, oh look at the look at this! Oh that's cool. So you can quickly find out how big the thing you're working with is just by using this button. So there's your 8x10, there's your 5x7. Huh. That's cool, hey? And yeah, okay, it doesn't actually line up with the ones on the side of the monitor, so these seem to be mostly for show. But this, this is a cool feature. Okay, well I think that's pretty much it. Thank you for checking out my unboxing of the ProArt PA246Q from ASUS. Don't forget to subscribe to Linus Tech Tips for more unboxings, reviews, and other videos. And actually, before we finish up right here, I gotta tell you guys, the color and the image looks about right up until about this angle for me. So cameraman can come over here where I am, right about there. So the viewing angle is phenomenal, actually. Really impressed with that. You come to expect that from an IPS panel. Also, it's not a matte screen, so there are no, there are no, um, or rather, it is a matte screen. There's, it's not a glossy screen, so there's no um, use a really shiny screen to make the the contrast and the colors look more vibrant. Tricks going on here. It's all just 
the quality of the panel, the quality of the backlight, and it is using a matte screen, which is preferable for color accuracy.